What? Hey. Why? Well, yeah. What's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Wisconsin Fishing and Outdoors. I'm about to get on the road to Milwaukee, but I thought we'd show you guys this little puppers right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hi. Future fishing buddy right there. I'm about to get down to Milwaukee. Gonna scout some spots for brown trout today. Hopefully, we can get on some fish for you guys. It is a gorgeous, balmy 28 degrees outside, so it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle, but we'll make it work. You don't want me to leave, do you? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Good morning. You guys are ready to see the magic, magic baits that we use to catch this trout and steelhead in the winter. Two dollars, southern pro jig heads. One and thirty second ounce. Little hustler crappie tubes. That's it. Another one. Oh my god, it's even bigger. Guys, it's even bigger. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Biggest fish of my life ever. <laughs> Alright folks. Well, as you can see, we are here at beautiful McKinley Marina on Lake Michigan. And uh, today it's a little bit chilly. It's about, like I said, it's about 28, 30 degrees, somewhere around there. There's a little bit of wind, not too bad. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Deal for today is so hopefully going to be sight fishing just as, just like usual. Thinking about throwing out some spawn sacks on float rigs, but I'm mainly looking to locate fish today because we've had clear weather for the past two days, whereas uh, earlier this week just we just had a ton of rain, so you couldn't see into the water at all. It'll be pretty cool. Speaking of pretty cool, it is freezing out here, uh, but I do have a couple things that I want to show you guys right off the bat. These are the new Onyx Ice Armor by clam ice fishing boots. So we're gonna try those out today, do kind of a little bit of a, of a mini review on them. They are supposed to be completely waterproof, so I don't know if we're gonna have the opportunity to test that today, but we'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoy. First impressions on these, uh, these boots. They fit pretty nice, they're really snug, which is good for cold weather. They feel really warm. It kind of feels like I'm walking in ski boots a little bit, which is, a little bit strange because I'm not skiing. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how they feel as the day goes on, but uh, it's about time to get fishing. All right, friends, walking out to the spot. It's been a couple days without any rain or runoff, so it should be good. It's still really dingy. Still really dingy. So we've got a fish down here. Cannot tell if it's a brown or like an old coho. It's huge, whatever it is. Oh my god, oh it's a big, it's a king? What? What? It's a giant king. What in the, what? Are you kidding? No freaking way, dude. Did he eat this? I just felt pressure. He might be snagging his head shaking. What in the, f how? How is this fish still alive? It's December. Such a long fish, dude. This might be one of my bigger salmon of the year. Longer than I wanted it to be. I was ready to give up right away, and now all of a sudden he's got all this extra, extra power here. There's trout everywhere, and this is the fish that decides to eat. I mean, I'll take it, but good lord, I wanted to be done with these fish. I was using light line so these trout wouldn't see it. If I knew there was, if I was gonna go for salmon, I'd be using a little bit heavier stuff. I might. Please let, tell me this dock is open. Yes, it is open. Where is it? There he is. There he is. I get the 
net ready here. Come here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Damn it. Oh, that's why you need to go with somebody. <laughs> yes. Whew. All right. Leave him in the water for as long as we can here. Look at that jig right in his snout. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But right in his face. Let's get this fish unhooked and get him back really quick. Look at that jig. Knows that there are still salmon down here. This is crazy. Nice buck, and he's gonna go right back. Here he goes. Just like that. Got to be quick with those fish, especially when it's this late in the year, because that, I cannot believe that that fish is still alive. One mark against the, uh, the Clam Ice Armor Onyx boots. They are incredibly difficult to drive in. So just be, be aware of that if you're taking your truck out on the ice or whatever. See if we can't catch some fishkies. Head shakes that brown do, browns do are so awesome. They're so much more vicious than kings. Hooked up. So, he's so messed up. If you want to go get it. Well, I mean, I can't anymore because I'm <laughs> still there. I've been fishing like every day here for king. Yeah. Fun. Oh, oh, it broke. No. But uh, <sighs> too much buddy, pressure. I took my buddy out. He, he must have gobbled it. I think yeah. it cut off on his teeth. Yeah, that was teeth. Teeth? Yep. Really? Damn it. Oh. Day four. Here we go. Got Matt hooked up on his first big Milwaukee Brown. Just absolutely smashed the jig. He's good. Remember, you got six pound test, so just let her, let her tire out. This is a giant, dude. This is a big German. Yep. You don't want to reel while your drag's going, it twists the line. Just let her do her thing. This one's pushing. It's up there. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> You're gaining on her a little bit here. She's staying down though. We haven't really seen her much since we hooked her right away. But it just took that little bit of little bit of motion right in front of her face. And she finally turned and ate it. Alright, yep, she's going under the dock. Rock it down, rock it down. Way down, way down. There you go. Once we get her back out in this open, I might take it from you. We'll strip off some line and then we'll uh, bring her over there. Because she's just fighting right underneath you right now. It's going to take a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, she's coming back. Yep. All right. So now, once she comes back out here, um, I'll take it. Yeah, here. Grab the grab the net here. Tighter on the drag. There you go. The only thing to watch out for is that thing, obviously. Yeah. If she goes under the dock, just put your rod tip right in the water. There you go. Good job. Oh, big run. Ooh. How's it going? Big old brown trout. Got one hooked up. She's, she's running. She's running. She woke up. She realized yeah, she was she hooked. Rot it, rot it in the water. She's probably underneath the dock. She's just down deep. There you go. Don't reel, don't reel. Just let her lift up and then reel down. There you go. There you go. That's what you need to do. Um, I don't think we're going to keep this one. Um, you can. Um, I usually advise against it just because the state doesn't like to stock these as much as they used to because they, uh, they don't naturally reproduce. So, yep, everything, everything that we have here is because of the state. So... And they're not eating anything. So if you get one to eat, it's oh my gosh, dude, that's huge. Oh, yeah. Did you see how big she's it is? She's right there. Yeah. Oh, here she is. Get the net. Yep. Oh, she's running. She's running. Yep. Uh, otherwise, they see it. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's and, uh, where I think I've been going wrong. Oh, oh. Dude, she come off? No. Oh no no, no. no, no, she's running towards you. Tip down. Tip down. There you go. Lift up. Lift up. She's right here. Come here, girl. Oh, God. 
Well, sit down again. Just gonna get her head in here and then grab her tail. Oh, yes, right there. Oh, we got her. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at this that's fish. A, that's a 20, dude. Dude, this is a chunker. Oh, just came out, dude. It just popped oh, out. Oh, my God. That was all pressure. I, oh, my God. This is the fish that I've been waiting for. Get the lighting right. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. She's so big. That's a that's a male dude, it's a big kuiper. Oh. Ready? Three, two, one. Blood. Just give give it a big plunge. Yep, there you go. Oh shit! No! Fuck. Well there's that. Uh-oh. Well, that's alright. That's not alright, that sucks. If you need to contact anybody, let me know right now. You can no. log in and do whatever you need to do. Oh, I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that, dude. I'm, I'm with you on that. I put it in this pocket. I should have just. Why did I? Why didn't I put it? Well, I mean, I have everything backed up, but still, that blows. Well, I mean, it's still an expensive cell phone. Yeah. That's not good. No. Do you need to do anything? Like, no, I've got. I'm, I'm just glad yours didn't fall in because it was in the same pocket. Yeah. I cannot get away from these gosh damn kings, dude. This is ridiculous. He freaking nommed this. <laughs> Why? Go away. I don't want to catch you. I don't want this fish. The reason that the browns are so skittish is also partly because these guys are still here. So we saw, we came up to this spot and there were about, how many browns? Five or six browns here. And then I saw this one fish and I was like, that could be a salmon. It's December, what day is it? December 8th? December 8th. December 8th. December 8th. And there's still oh, no. salmon here. Unfreaking real. Here we go. He's just down his throat. Look at that. It's gone. Yeah, he sucked that thing down. Yeah, he did. Watch it disappear real fast. Yeah. There you go. Got him? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Oh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Right in the side of the mouth. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> I don't know. So I do you guys have a YouTube channel or something? Yeah, I do. It's Wisconsin Fishing Outdoors. All right. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, how did I not know? Like, okay. <laughs> I've watched your videos like a thousand times. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Okay, so Wait. this is this is Zach. He's hooked up on this is your first well first real Milwaukee Brown. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it we could say it's a tank, um, it's and we would be correct because it's probably pushing thirty pounds. This is honestly, this this is one of the biggest Browns I've ever seen in the water. What? I'm not kidding. Like I've I've caught a lot of brown trout here, and this is bigger. This looks bigger than my buddy's biggest, which was 28 pounds. So just judging off of that, I mean, I think this is pushing 30. Um, unfortunately, my big net broke um, earlier today, so we actually went and bought another one. But of course, I skimped and got a little bit smaller one because I didn't think we were gonna see much Whoa. big fish today. Dude, holy crap! <laughs> so yeah, um, that's a big one. I can't believe this fish bit. I think it's in the mouth, right? Yeah, it, it sure is. as hell looks like, in the, like it's, it's in the right corner. In jaw. I mean, you guys can probably see this spawn sack hanging out yeah. there. Look at the here? kipe on that thing. You see, it's like it's yeah. actually going up over the top of the top jaw. Wait, were you the one who had the, like fight with Erica Hadia or something? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that guy's like, I can't believe that. Like, I thought he was a good guy. Like, you know, he's fishing with Peric and all this stuff, acting yeah. all like happy and fun and shit. And then he comes up to me, he's swearing at you for like videoing. Peric. The guys down there were like, like shaming us for videoing and I'm just like what are you talking what about happened? it doesn't Wait, what happened they were like actually, making fun of us YouTube. they're like oh another I, YouTuber I got you I ain't having that shit guides down here hate guys that film because they're they're putting all their spots on it the doesn't internet. matter no though. it doesn't These fish ma still bite no matter what they don't understand that this is like the most public spot in the yeah, entire world everyone knows <laughs> about this spot <laughs> this is actually not fighting as hard as your fish this yeah. morning yeah this Matt. is so weird this he is... caught a nice like 20 pound male this morning just push him push him push him, push him. i'm trying yes, yes. yes. okay wait, somebody wait, wait. how do we get it now i don't know <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, here, um, go over there and maybe, can you drag dude. it? See if you can just kind of slide him. Yeah, I am. 
Unless unless your line's gonna break. Oh, it's gonna break. Is it? Sweet. Nice. All right, get him over to the. Get him over there. Hey, uh, go grab the, go grab the shovel, and we'll punch a hole in the ice, and then we'll re release him through that. <laughs> Don't go on the ice, dude. Yeah, it's just. Try not to gill him too Woo. much. That thing's huge. Like that's that's thirty, bro. dude. Actually, we'll just we'll plunge him back in, in that mouth. corner. In the mouth. Look, Look at that. that. Unreal. Awesome job, dude. Oh. Yeah. Matt's the fish right here in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He's got the release on this big boy. Massive rock trout. Just release it like ice, ice fishing. Oh, she's ready to go. She's kicking already? Gone. Dude. Gone in a second. Unreal. Nice, dude. Epic. Epic. This? You might want to. You, you might want your spawn tag. <laughs> Put that frame that spawn tag. <laughs>